Hey guys, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations. And I recently had a customer request a matte looking tumbler. So I decided to go ahead and film it for everyone so I could show you how I did it. With this one, I actually did a matte peekaboo because I wanted the pink glitter portion on this tumbler to still be shiny and sparkly. So I did matte on the rest of the cup and the white pink part was um, still shiny epoxy. So today I am starting off with a 30 ounce tumbler. This is actually a Yeti brand tumbler. The customer wanted a specific Yeti brand tumbler, so that's what we're going with. And I'm going to start off with about 20 milliliters of epoxy that I've mixed up and I am using Tumbler Epoxy Epoxy, my favorite epoxy. It's just absolutely gorgeous and always comes out super clear. So I am just going to spread it over my cup get really good coverage and make sure you don't forget the bottom. And once I get good coverage over the entire cup with my 20 mLs of epoxy, I'm going to take my finger and I will start at the bottom of the cup and just work my way up. So as you can see here, I'm start at the bottom, work my way up the cup. I don't wanna push any epoxy into the inside of the cup. That's why I always start at the bottom. Now that I have my epoxy smoothed out, I'm going to take my blowtorch that I purchased on Amazon and I'm going to make just a super quick pass all over the cup, uh, getting the main portion of the cup and also on the bottom, just popping any little micro bubbles and making sure that our epoxy is nice and smooth. So for this next step, the customer wants her husband's business logo to be in pink and white. She wants the lettering to be in white and then the main like decal portion to be in a glittery pink. So I have just a plain white vinyl here. It's an Oracle 651 vinyl. And then I also have a pink glitter vinyl. And I'm just going to weed this vinyl out now. I cut it with my Silhouette Cameo 4 and I will provide a link down in the description box below for everything that I use while I make my tumblers. And I don't know what it is with this pink glittery vinyl. I purchased a few different glittery vinyls from a local craft store here in Pensacola and it is the hardest vinyl ever to weed. It doesn't matter what settings I put my silhouette on. It just, sometimes it just does not want to weed, but it is gorgeous. I forgot to mention this earlier, but after my first coat of epoxy, I let my tumbler spin for probably a good 10 hours or so just to make sure that the epoxy was super dry before this next step of applying the decal. Okay, so now that I have my images weeded here, I'm going to go ahead and put my transfer tape on them to get them ready to transfer over to our tumbler. So when applying the vinyl here, I figured that this curved pattern was probably going to give me a pretty hard time. So I decided to trim any of the excess paper off of the vinyl here, just so that I could make sure I had really good placement on the tumbler and had it exactly where I wanted it before I laid it down. I also like to have my transfer tape wider 
than the backing to the vinyl is because I can pretty much do as you see here. I can get it where I want it first and then I can lay it from there just by pulling the, the underside of the paper, the backing from the vinyl out and then um, laying it, laying it down and smoothing it as I go. So with this pink image, I figured it would be easier to once again trim around it and make sure that I had my placement where I wanted it before placing it down. But once I did that, I realized, forget it. It was just easier to just freehand it and lay it down. Since I already had the surrounding letters in place, it was just easier to take it off the backing and just lay it down like that. And I want to mention that I love this squeegee tool that I use to lay my vinyl down because it's got a felt tip on it and it's amazing. Okay, so now that we have our image on the tumbler that we want to stay on there, meaning it, we're not peekabooing this image at all, this image is going to stay on there, it is time to add another coat of epoxy on the tumbler and this time I mixed up 30 ml 30 milliliters of epoxy because I wanted a really nice thick coat of epoxy on this tumbler and I'm going to apply this epoxy the exact same way I did before I'm going to use all 30 milliliters that I have here and I'm just going to get really good coverage on my cup making sure I don't forget the bottom and then I'm going to take my finger, just like before, and I'll start at the bottom and push up the cup, smoothing the epoxy down as the cup spins. Once I get it all smoothed down, I'll take my finger and make a quick sweep across the bottom just to make sure it's good to go. And then I take my, my blowtorch again and make a quick pass over the cup, popping any little micro bubbles that are trying to hang out and making sure that the epoxy is nice and smooth. All right, and this is where the peekaboo part comes in. See how much easier this vinyl right here was to weed versus that pink glitter vinyl? I don't know what the deal is. Like I said, it doesn't matter what setting I put it on, it gives me a hard time. If you have any tips on it, please be sure to mention it down in the description box below because I would love to hear your tips. I don't know what it is, it just gives me a hard time. So I, I have cut this second decal that we're going to use for peekaboo. I have cut it to be the exact same size as the pink image that is already on the cup. And I let this image, I let the cup spin for probably a good 10 hours or so because it needed to be completely dry for this next step because we're going to put this decal on and then we're going to give this cup a really good rub down with final sand so you want your cup completely dry now to apply this image i wanted to make sure that i was lined up perfectly so i just i pretty much just cut the image in pieces and laid them down piece by piece just to make sure that i didn't misalign anything because i want this pink glittery image to show through our peekaboo so it needs to be lined up perfectly Okay, so now that we have this image on right where we want it, uh, it is time to take 
our cup to the sink and we are going to give it a really good rub down. So the product here that I am using is called Final Sand. And Final Sand is a prep and matte paste. You can find it at DIYepoxy.com and I'll put a link for that below down in the description box. So the way that you want to use this Final Sand product is you want to take about a quarter size little blob of the Final Sand and put it on your cup. I like to just use a gloved hand and the gloved hand works perfectly fine for me. Others I've seen use like scouring pads and stuff. A gloved hand works perfectly fine. So just take that Final Sand and you are going to rub the fire out of this cup with your gloved hand. And I get just a little bit of water every now and then to help moisten up the the mixture that we have here and you just rub it you don't want to rub like up and down or anything you you want to rub in cir like a circular motion and don't get discouraged with it it <laughs> it takes a lot of elbow grease to really get a good sanding on this cup with this product but the end product is great so i went ahead i thought I may have been there so I went ahead rinsed it off and dried it off completely just to see how my image was looking and I wanted to be careful with my uh, my rag that I was drying my cup off around our decal because I didn't want to pull it up at all so I was looking at it it wasn't quite how I wanted it, it was still a little bit too shiny so I decided mm, let's put a little bit more final sand on here and scrub on it some more So like I mentioned before, you just, you want to work in a circular motion and you want to get into all those little nooks and crannies right there in the curve of the cup, up around the top edge. The top edge is where I kind of seem to have most of my problem with getting it, getting the matte look on it. So just make sure and pay attention in those areas. They can be an easy area to miss. So just get in there, rub in a circular motion and work that cup until you get that nice pretty matte look. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and dry the cup off now. And I am happy with how our matte look is. So it, it, it looks amazing. And I'm now going to take my weeding tool and I'm going to weed off that blue vinyl that I used for our peekaboo look. And as you can see, that beautiful pink glitter vinyl shows through now and that part is still glossy, but the rest of the cup is matte. It looks amazing. And once you've got that last bit of vinyl pulled off, your cup is ready to go. And there you have it. That is how you create a matte look on an epoxy tumbler. And this is actually her husband's tumbler. He wanted, she wanted it full matte for him, so I didn't have to do a peekaboo look with it. But there you go. That is how you make a matte tumbler. And if you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Also, all products that I use are linked down in the description box below. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and y'all take care. Bye.